Today's tutorial is about Eric Erickson's theory of psychosocial development. Please share, like, and subscribe. Share this video with other psychology students that need help with Eric Erickson's theory of psychosocial development. Eric Erickson's theory of psychosocial development, which has eight stages, was influenced by Sigmund Freud's theory of psychosexual development, and the link for Sigmund Freud's theory of psychosexual development will be listed down in the description box below. Erickson's eight stages of psychosocial development covered lively conflict on the entire lifespan, and this conflict must be resolved in order for one to have a complete venture in that specific stage. This is a eight stages livelihood that a healthy person encounters from infancy up to adulthood. And in each stage, one must encounter a psychosocial crisis that they must resolve in order for one to have succeeded. Erickson's theory of psychosocial development is one of the easiest theories in psychology, like Freud. Erickson believed that life is gone through stages and individual persona is developed through those stages. Unlike Freud. Erickson believed that personality is developed throughout the entire lifespan. So now let's move to the life of Erickson so that we can know how he came up with this theory. Erickson was born in June 15, 1902. He was born in Germany. Erickson's father and mother separated before he was born. So he was never in a position whereby his mother and father were in the same house as him, raising him. Erickson's mother then married a Jewish physician by the name of Dr. Theo. Erickson focused his life on personality changes. One of the main elements in Erickson's theory is ego identity. Ego identity is the conscious sense that we develop through social interactions. According to Eric, individual's ego is continuously changing due to new experiences and new information that we acquire in our daily interactions with other people. He believed that sense of competence also motivates behavior and actions, and each stage is built upon successful completion of an earlier stage. If a stage is handled well, the person will feel a sense of competence, and if the stage is poorly managed, this will lead to crisis. Stage 1 of trust versus mistrust as a conflict happens from 0 to 1 year and is called the infancy stage. It is one of the most fundamental stages according to Eric Erickson. Virtue to develop is hope. Hope to trust the world, hope to trust the next person, hope to trust the parents. The psychosocial crisis is trust versus mistrust and it happens in one, zero and end in one year. The most significant person in this stage is the mother. The mother plays a very important role in this stage. The most important question one asks is, can I trust the world that I'm going to live in? According to Erickson, if their parents are consistent in providing a secure environment and basic needs such as love, food, and shelter, the infants will learn to trust the world. If they are inconsistent, they will not trust the world. Stage 2, which is the early childhood stage, from 1 to 3 years, the conflict is autonomy versus doubt and shame. Important events in this stage is toilet training, potty training, virtue to develop is well, well to understand the world. The child learns to explore the world on their own and begins to show preferences, be it in clothes or in toys. In this stage, the child begins to develop sense of personal control and gain little independence. And Erickson believed that parents allowing the child to make choices of their own will help them gain personal control and independence, leading to them building sense of autonomy. And parents not allowing children to make choices of their own will make them feel small, inadequate, leading to feelings of shame and even doubt. Potty training is very important in this stage and would help build sense of autonomy. Children who struggle and who are shouted at, laughed at, and shamed because of their accidents, potty training accident will feel they have no sense of control, which leads to shame and doubt. According to Erickson, striking a balance between autonomy and shame and even doubt will lead to will, which is a belief that even children can act with intention. Now we are moving to stage three, which is the preschool age stage happening from three years to five years. In preschool, 
one take initiative of learning new things and even new basic principles. Venture to develop its purpose, finding their purpose in life. One asks themselves questions like, it is okay to be me. Is it okay to do what I'm doing? If they are encouraged, they will discover and follow their interest. If they are discouraged, they will feel guilty for even trying to do what they were doing. Children begin to assert their power and control over worldly things, and those who are successful will feel capable of leading other people, and those who fail will begin to feel self-doubt. Significant relationship in this stage is family. Four, which is the school age stage from 6 years to 12 years, the conflict of industry versus inferiority. The fourth stage of psychosocial development is industry versus inferiority, which happens in the school age between 6 years and 12 years. This is where social interactions are important. Through social interaction, children begin to develop a sense of pride in their accomplishment, be it schoolwork, sports, etc., if the children are encouraged, they will develop sense of competence and belief in their skills. Those who receive little to no encouragement from their peers, family, and teachers will doubt their capabilities. And success will lead to one developing virtue of competence. They will feel competent in their abilities. The significant relationship in this stage is family, schools, neighbors, be it the whole community if possible. Stage 5 is the adolescent stage, is where the conflict is identity versus role confusion. Different social roles are identified and one could fall into identity crisis. It is in this stage where personal identity is built, adolescents will explore their independence and develop sense of self. Success of this stage will lead to one developing feature of vitality and important events in this stage is building social relationships with other people. Stage 6 is young adulthood stage where the conflict is intimacy versus isolation. Young adults begin to form intimate relationships and those who are successful in forming this relationship will lead to them having strong relationships and those who fail will lead to them having a depression, being isolated and also being lonely. According to Erickson, it is important that people develop committed relationships with other people and those who succeed will feel secured. Erickson believed that a strong sense of personal identity, which was built in the previous stages, is important in this stage for developing intimate relationships. Those with poor sense of self tend to have less committed relationships and are more likely to, str to struggle with loneliness and depression. Virtue and outcome hoped in this stage is love. We all wish to be loved. Stage 7, which is the middle age stage, conflict is generativity versus stagnation. Adults begin to nurture things that are important to them, often be relationships, family, and children. Success leads to feelings of usefulness, accomplishment, while failure results in shallow involvement in the world. Those who succeeded in this stage will have a sense of a generativity or have a sense of productivity. And those who failed will feel like they are stagnant, leading to them feeling unproductive. Stage 8 is the maturity stage where the conflict is ego integrity versus despair. This is the last stage of Eric Erickson's eight stages of psychosocial development. According to Erickson, as people get older, their productivity begins to slow down and then they explore life as retired individuals. They begin to look at their accomplishment. When they are proud of them, they will feel a sense of integrity. However, those who feel like they have unfulfilled tasks will begin to have many regrets. They will have depression and loneliness, which may lead them to having despair.